y'all say that y'all want to see that, but in real life, y'all don't want to see it. I don't be liking the way I look. That's why I'm single now. Y'all are silly. He got mad at me because. Good morning, y'all. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know when y'all are watching this, but it's currently 5 a.m. Literally 5.04. And I've been up since 3.30. I was supposed to start this video like 4 something. So it could be like a 4 a.m. event session, but it's 5 now. But. If y'all see four in the title, my job business. So we better talk. We about to talk, and it's just gonna be me and you, just me and you. We having a nice little one-on-one. -on -one. In regards to discipline, I feel like I have just been so undisciplined as far as eating. Like y'all, when I tell y'all lately, I have been eating so much snacks. Like it's to the point where like I will. I'm not gonna say I barely eat food, but like I'll eat maybe a meal a day, but primarily like throughout the day I'll eat like. So so many snacks it's actually crazy and then i i be asking myself like okay why my skin looking this way and stuff like that but i really think that it's, it has nothing to do with my skincare routine and it has more so to do with what i'm eating and what i'm putting inside my body and stuff like that and i feel like that just needs to change and then it's like that discipline also affects i mean that not having discipline in that regard is just one thing, but I also don't have discipline in other regards too. Like saying no to people or just saying yes when somebody asks me to do something because I don't want to say I feel obligated to, but I, I feel like, I don't know, I always have to be there for people, but it's like, you can't really always be there for people. You got to be there for yourself, if you get what I'm saying. So that's something that I really need to work on. But I, this week, I'm actually going to try doing, like, waking up at 5 a.m. I don't know why or how I think that's going to correlate to me with my snacks. I don't know. I just feel like if I start getting disciplined in one area, like, I'm going to be able to kind of, like, I don't know, like, get disciplined in other areas. Like, once I gain discipline, period. Or not period, but, like, in one area, I feel like that'll help me in other areas. So that's kind of what I'm going to try and do. Um, I'm gonna try that this week. We're gonna see how that goes. If it goes well, if I decide to do it for real, um, I'll put the video on here. But I should be doing it for real just because I thought of that this morning. So, but yeah, um, what else did I want to talk about? What is it called? <laughs> now, <I'm> just <laughs> let me stop. But no, y'all, seriously. Y'all ever, um, like, been in relationships with somebody and y'all feel like they're the right person for you, but it's not the right time for you? I'm not in a relationship, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just saying. But I also be like, everything happens for a reason. Like, my problem is I don't be caring enough. Like, I just be like, oh, well, was what it was, is what it is. Like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And I honestly be like that in every regard to my life. Like, whenever I mess up some way or somehow, I be like, well... Maybe that was supposed to happen. Everything happened for a reason. That was supposed to happen. To teach me a lesson. Like, I always do that. But I have to stop doing that. Like, that's kind of a toxic trait. And I also don't really be caring about really, like, I don't want to say I don't care about losing relationships. But this does not, I'm sorry. This does not look gold. It's getting yellow. I guess. Um. Sometimes I just don't really care for real. And it's so funny. I saw this post that was like a toxic Libra trait. I'd be ready to get rid of anybody at any time. Like, I, I really don't care. And that's, like, very true. Like, I love my friends and everything like that. But sometimes it'd be like, I, I don't care. Like, going today, I mean, here today, going tomorrow. Like, it is what it is. And I, I kind of feel like that because of, oh, my goodness, different situations I've been in. And, like, friends that I have lost or people that I have lost in my life. It's kind of like, well, at the time, I felt like I couldn't live without you. But I lost you and now I'm living without you. So, I feel like. It could get like that with anybody like type which i hate that but i know the people that i have in my life now like they're not really going nowhere so it is what it is it's just something that i always feel like, like i just don't care <sighs> which is bad i guess but i feel like also feel like there's nothing for me to really do about it though like it it doesn't matter for real but who knows? Uh, this year, I am trying to... Uh, there's a lot of goals that I need to accomplish. And some of them have deadlines. Some of them do not. But currently, also discipline. I am trying to be more financially responsible. Because 
It's not giving financial responsibility. This past week, okay, I did good. This past week, I did not eat out. I'm not buying no food out, which was so good because y'all, when I tell y'all, the, the past month, I was buying food like every day, sometimes twice a day. Like it was crazy. And y'all don't realize, but like, well, I know y'all do realize, but especially like when you're in college, when you eat out a lot, a lot, a lot, like that gets to be bad. Like it gets to be real bad, real quick. So it's like, yikes. But <clears throat> I'm currently saving for something. I'm saving for a trip. So I'm trying to like work more and more and more and more, which is why I'm working from 10 to 10 a day. But it's also like with that, I have to be mindful because it's like I'm in school too. School is my main priority. So I have to make sure I'm properly allocating my time because it's like in order for me to work more I have to make sure I do all of my schoolwork in advance and stuff like that but it's also like you know when you got goals to meet you you gotta lock in and you gotta get done flat out like there's no other option to it really but to do it I'm actually so hungry right now it's, it's 5 15 now I think I'm gonna make me I don't know I feel like because I'm up so early and I don't have to be at work till 10 like I always feel like whenever I get up early, I should be making me a nice, like, pancake, sausage, eggs, bacon, like, you know? I feel like, no, not sausage. Why did I say that? I don't need sausage. But I feel like I should make me a, you know, a nice little meal instead of the usual cereal oatmeal granola bar. Because it's like, you're up, so you need to be making that. But then it's like, I don't even really feel like making it. I just want to because I feel like I have to because I have the time. <sighs> Side eye. This year, I have ultimately decided that I will not be being there for people when they are not there for me. Simple. But I feel like showing up for people um, transforms itself in different ways. Like, you can show up for your friend in one way and she can show up for you in another. But it's like, why can't you show up for me how I'm showing up for you? No, I feel like this video has kind of been a little bit all over the place. But this is actually how my brain operates like. I'm always jumping from one thing to another, to another, to another thing, to another. We're going to get into social media, like. Social media is a cruel place for real, like. I feel like me personally, I spend way too much time on my phone, like. Way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Social media becomes so time consuming and draining as well. I feel like I need to start doing, like, breaks where, like, okay. Um, what is it called? Like, okay, 24 hours unplugged. Like, I don't, don't get on nothing. Like, I really want to start doing days where, like, certain days I just turn my phone off, like, for the day. If any of y'all do that, let me know how that works for y'all. Like, I just want to turn my phone off. It's also, like, if I do turn my phone off, like, I won't have no connection to nobody because while, while I do have my iPad and stuff, like, I have my iPad on a completely separate email address. So it's, like, nobody really able to contact me. Like, I'll, a few people have my email address to my iPad, but, like, they never contacted, but I think I want to start doing that. I also think I want to start doing, like, Sundays I don't leave the house, period. Like, period. Like, unless it's something that I have to do. Like, obviously some stuff happens on Sundays that I just have to attend. But other than that, no, I'm not leaving my house. That's where I want to start doing. Especially, some, well, I said I was going to start working more and I was going to start working on Sundays. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Dang, I just contradicted myself. Like, girl, how you gonna say you're gonna lock in and get to the bag? And you said you wanna stay in the house on Sundays. Mm. But yeah, someone, um, like this girl that go to my school or whatever, she, I was gonna say inbox. She didn't inbox me, it was Instagram. But she DM me and she was basically like, oh, like, can you speak on a panel to talk about how, uh, like, how to remain authentic on social media? <clears throat> And I was like, yeah, because that is, I'm not going to say that is hard to do, but a lot of people can get, it's, it's real, it can be very easy to get caught up in, oh, this person posts like this, so I feel like I got to post like this. This person do this like this, so I feel like I got to post like this. And I'm not going to lie, y'all be playing a role in that too, because it's also like, I'll see videos on TikTok and they'll be like, okay, I'm tired of seeing the aesthetic girlies i'm tired of seeing this i'm tired of seeing that can we go back to how youtube used to be can we go back to how um social media used to be back in the day when nobody cared what they posted da, da, da. but at the same time for one okay why am i yelling we're not even gonna get started on how tiktok your algorithm is literally what you like to see so if all you're seeing is aesthetic girlies that's all you're watching you're saying that you don't want to see it but you keep watching it so that's showing telling the algorithm that you keep want to see it so you're saying that you don't want to see that but in real life you do want to see that and it's also like those are the videos that y'all watch so those are the videos that do the best if you get what i'm saying 
yeah so that'd be a, a little i don't say it'd be annoying but it just be funny when people say oh i'm tired of seeing da -da 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 videos but it's like you're only seeing that because that's all that you're watching when people post other kind of content or when people post other kind of videos that you're that you're not used to seeing or everybody posting the same thing everybody posting the same thing because the same thing that everybody is posting is the same thing that y'all are watching so it's like when people do other stuff it doesn't really get the recognition it deserves or it doesn't really get the watches or views or whatever the case may be because that that don't be what y'all want to see for real like y'all say that y'all want to see that but in real life y'all don't want to see it but yeah it is very important to stay authentic on social media and it is it could be hard to get caught up in that but i don't know me personally i don't know i just be feeling like this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be like, i could never like act like somebody i'm not or do something i'm not or like that's like me telling t getting on here and saying oh yeah i get up at 5 a.m every day my roommate's gonna be like I knocked on your door at six and you wasn't up. Like, come on now. Be for real. So that's why I feel like I can never do that because it's like, no. But yeah, social media, it's a cold city. Even up for me. Yeah. Y'all on here just like I'm on here. So y'all already know what it is. But I do want to start being on social media less. Like, I just want to post and go. Honestly, like, I just want to post and go. I was trying to post every day on TikTok for a minute. But then, like, I don't know. I just got not even tired. But also, like, y'all, I don't be, like, a lot of the time, like... I don't I don't even really want to say this but I guess this is supposed to be like a transparent video I don't be really I don't want to say I don't be liking the way I look but I don't be liking the way I look if you know what I'm saying like I just be feeling like oh like I don't I don't really want to like be on a camera right now I don't really want to like look at myself right now and this is so funny because it just reminded me of something else like yeah okay I'm gonna tell y'all a little quick little story I, sh I really shouldn't be saying this but I was talking to this boy one time and he was basically like um he got mad at me because I didn't want to turn my camera on FaceTime. And I was like, you're getting mad at me because I want I don't want to put my camera on FaceTime. But like, at the time, I was like depressed. Like, I don't even want to look at myself right now. Like, you want to look at me, but I don't even want to look at me. And he was really mad at me. And we was into it for a little minute about that. And it was just so crazy because it was like, I genuinely do not want to look at myself right now. But you're getting mad at me because I don't want to turn my camera on. That's why I'm single now. <laughs> y'all are silly yeah but sometimes i just don't be feeling the best in regards to my i don't even want to say my confidence in my looks because it's like i know i look good but i really think the issue is the lashes y'all like i used to wear lashes all the time like even when i was in high school like i've been wearing like lash extensions for a long time so now that like i haven't been wearing them okay and even before when i stopped wearing lash extensions i would put on like clusters so like now i don't be doing nothing like, stuff like that the lashes really play a role in my confidence let me say that to make a long story short so we was working on that and also like i don't know i guess my skin to to other people they be like okay your skin glowing or whatever like like i have good skin but to me it's like my skin is not good like I, while i don't have no acne and i know that but it's like i have like dark spots and like blemishes and stuff and that just that just doesn't really sit well or be okay with me because like my skin used to really be like that like my skin was like that so now i just be like ew and i'm not gonna lie it used to be like even when my skin wasn't like that or it used to just be like when my skin wasn't like that like i would put on like concealer in certain spots to make my skin look even even when it wasn't but lately i've just been very natural with everything like not wearing no lashes not wearing like no makeup for real so it just be like okay i don't know but it is what it is oh my god i'm so irritated that i just recorded the whole video without the lights on i just feel like that always just sets the vibe for me that always does it for me but too late anyways that is all that i have for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe also let me know some other videos y'all want to see or even some other topics y'all want to hear me talk about because if y'all want me to mm, that is all that i have for this video y'all already know what to do and yeah